hey, we're here to sort of tell you our experience with the Malaysian digital arrival card. And uh, you know what? We made one mistake at the end. Stay tuned uh, and you'll find out what that mistake is. Absolutely, and it's so lovely to see you. We are L.A. and Dean, the exploring grandparents. Absolutely. Okay, so you're going to Google Mal Malaysia Digital Arrival Card. Make sure you have the correct site, and then you're going to see this. It's got an announcement, but we do not need to use it. So you're going to go up to the right-hand corner and click the X. Now you can see the site that you're going to be using. There's two categories. The first category is Malaysia Autogate Facilities for Foreigners. You can see all the countries that can go through there. Canada is not on there and there are a lot of other countries not on there. So we get to go to the other category, Foreign Visitors Other Countries. And you'll scroll down and you're going to click on the register button. Here is where you're going to fill out everything that has an asterisk, those little red dots by it. So you're going to put your name in here, your passport number, okay so here's what kind of messed us up a bit. You're going to, you see February 2024 and all the numbers, click on that, now you see the months, nope. Click on 2024 and now you can see the years. So you can pick what year you were born. There's where you click and you can see all the numbers if you have to go back further or forward further. And then the month and the day. Repeat and you go to the left and click on that and pick the date, oh, to the right this time so you can see further in the future, the date. It's important, okay, yeah, put your country, sorry Australia, you do not need to fill this out. Okay, it's important to put your email address in here because they are going to send you an email confirming what you filled out here. It will also have information you will need for when you go to customs. So put an email address that you can access on your phone as you're going through customs. Your country code. Your country code. We put our home numbers on here even though we don't have access to them and they never phoned us. Okay, travel information. This is the important part. P please note that your trip must be within three days. If you try to fill it out and you are within four days, it won't let you fill it out. If you are coming from a country with a different time zone, be very aware of what date you actually are arriving. It could be different than what you think. And this is where you came from. So you have to put your hotel, you have to fill it out or wherever you're staying. So make sure you have your address on you if you have to fill this out while you're in the line. And you have to fill out the rest of this, everything that has a star, and then click submit. So we arrived after 30 hours of travel and maybe a glass of wine or two. And we're in the lineup all oh, hey we got this we have the digital malaysia card and we're excited to get to security and show them the card and Lorianne bravely walked forward and i walked behind her because you know we always send someone else first just to make sure it works <laughs> and what what was the response darling so when i walked up 
thinking everything was great. I was tired, as Dean said, 30 hours, a couple glasses of wine. And I hand him my passport and he says, you're Canadian? I say, yes. You read English, don't you? And I'm still not computing or processing what's going on. And then I say, yes, I do. And then he says to me, do you know what day it is today? And I'm thinking, 30 hours on a plane, gallons of wine. Uh, actually, I don't know what day it is today. I'm kind of tired. And he says, you don't know what day it is today? And then he told me. Yes, we filled out the wrong date <clears throat> on the uh, digital arrival card. We had put the date prior to arrival. When we left, it was it's a long story. We had to fly, do a layover in Seattle, spend the night, fly over the International Dateline. So I'm, I missed a date there somewhere. And uh, we had to go and fill it out again. Yeah, so it was actually one day out. And he said, he kept pointing to over there. And I thought, oh, I have to go and fill it in again digitally. But he said, when I got over there, I realized I had to do it on my phone and I didn't have Wi-Fi or I was having trouble connecting. Anyway, we don't want you to do that. So hopefully this video will help you fill out the card, get the right date. Just remember, if you're coming from another country that has a different time zone, make sure because you can only do it within three days. Yes, absolutely. We know you'll enjoy it. Absolutely.